Good evening, everybody, and welcome to my Hammer of the God stream. Yes, very excited about this. So I will be chatting throughout. I'll be right here. This is a game that has not been in print or in distribution since 1995. Uh, that was when uh, New World lost the rights when they got taken over by NTN Communications. NTN Communications did not get the rights to the game. So very excited to make an announcement about what's going to be coming soon. And uh, you're getting a longer preview here than I thought you would. So waiting for the game to start up. Not sure why it isn't. Let's try this. There we go. Not that you're getting any clues about what my big announcement tonight is going to be by how it's launching. Thought I had it installed directly on my machine, but I still need to run it through this launcher. And I'm not going to announce for a short bit what that means. When you see me turn to my left like this, that means that uh, I am dealing with chat. So that's how I reference chat. It's over there on my left. I really should put it on this monitor here, but next. That's next. That's next. Ah, I should have had the, some of these things running beforehand. After this has been working so well, now it decides to be problem a little All right. Let's... Uh, Let's see here. Yeah, of course, when I ran with OBS before I did it in test mode, I didn't actually try it live. So I'm not sure if OBS is messing it up or what the deal is. So let's uh, jump around. All right, there's that. Get back to God Galaxy. All right, let's try it from here now. All right, so get ready to see some Hammer of the Gods intro. This stuff in 1995, I swear it was cutting edge. That might have been a while ago. Check it out. It was a time of chaos on Midgard. After the once mighty Romans deserted their northern fortresses, long before the Christians brought the dreaded... Man, that was some good voice acting for that time, I have to say. We took full deeds, this is about HDI's first game. We, it had been several dudes solistic gaming and um, launched this as HDI, though, back in 95. For they were strong and wont to trifle in human affairs. Iron men Ah, iron beautiful souls. art. Yeah, death and we fire, advertised this game. Ships. Many foes, 640 by 400 SVGA mode. How can you beat it? Whoops, over here. Over the here. greatest of them desired can you more believe than it? an eternity of Groundbreaking. They desired 2,500 frames of rotoscoped animation. Cutting edge. Look One at this incredible night, animation. High above the waves in a magic yeah, ship, this intro stressed our abilities like you wouldn't believe. In their dreams to Asgard, where Odin Allfather beheld them with his all seeing Basically, eye. our first efforts at 3D. Isn't it amazing? Everything we've done before this have been purely 2D. Here you're seeing our 3D efforts. Can't do this kind of stuff anymore. I'm not get run out of town. Yep. Very happy with the music as we created if for it. Would be my chosen on Midgard. I've got to show you the um, you choices of sound cards. This, I skipped must that. First earn favor it's hilarious how we had to code for sound quests. cards back in the day. I, do, well I didn't do it. That was, uh, some very be good people are company nature, to create the integration with the <laughs> sound cards. Only oh, then shall one agony. be deemed worthy to become my favored servant and be known throughout eternity as the Hammer of the Gods. Of the gods. Look at that eye. Oh, Sauron's got nothing on us. This is way before the movie. Yay. So happy with this. 
So um, you're going to see some interesting things in this game that now seem very dated, but at that time were definitely relatively advanced. I mean, this wasn't even AAA for that age, but it was a good, well-done game. Based on our uh, old uh, Merchant Prince engine, which then turned into Machiavelli the Prince after this, and of course Emperor the Fates after that. Look at this! Network or modem! <laughs> you can play it on your modem! More importantly, when you're ready to exit, you can exit to DOS! Oh, isn't that, isn't that direct operating system? Isn't that wonderful? All right, admittedly, unless you're running this in DOS, you can't exit to DOS. You'll exit to Windows. I've tested that. All right, you guys see the intro? We're not going to worry about network mode, and we're playing it single player today, but this was a really fun multiplayer game for many reasons. And if you get the opportunity to play it uh, multiplayer again, do so. You can also play by email, and you send your turns around and so forth. Hot, hot seat. That's the way to do it. All right, so let's start a new game. I have been testing, but I haven't actually played a game of this since I got it. So let's check it out. All right, we're going to be the Vikings, the humans, the elves, dwarves, or trolls. I have a friend who uh, absolutely loves the trolls and squishing Vikings with his trolls. We'll go ahead and play Average Enemies. Historic map. I love it. So part of the reason we're holistic design is that we try to take a holistic approach to games. So something like this could be a computer game, could be a board game, could be a role-playing game, and we work to combine them. I always wanted to make this into a role-playing game. When I was in junior high school, I used RuneQuest to create a Viking setting that I really enjoy playing. I only played it, I don't know, a half dozen times or something like that. But I enjoyed it a lot, and I wanted to do that with the Hammer of the Gods, do a Hammer of the Gods RPG. Never got around to it. Now there's so much 5th edition stuff and like, you could uh, do all kinds of things with it. But this whole thing about raiding, becoming the favorite of Odin, doing their quests, that could be a lot of fun for a tabletop RPG. Well, or a computer RPG. Um, maybe instead of a JRPG, be an NRPG. Norse role-playing game. All right. So anyway. So we could do random, but we're going to do historic. Um, the different modes. Yeah, we're not going to do it impossible tonight. Oh, yeah. Let's look at custom, though, because that shows you some of the things that uh, you can modify. Storms at sea, off on. Um, sea dragons, off on. Storms at sea is so much fun. I shouldn't do that. That makes the game a lot harder, but that's where you need to hug the coast like a Viking. If you go out in the middle of the seas, you're likely to drown. I'll leave the dragons off. We'll do city defenses and castle defenses light for now. Oh, and game length. Short is... Um, you play, I think you do 20 quests or something. You have to complete 20 quests. And the quests are different for each race. Most of them are the same, but like Odin's quest is different for each race. If you do the short one, you only have to fulfill 20 quests in order to win. So let's do this custom version. And uh, let's go. Uh, what name should I be? Arn the Grim. All right. Let's go and be Arn the Grim. I like uh, Arn the Grim today. Arn. Arnie Arn. I remember asking back in the time one of the other designers, they came with the name Arn after Arn Anderson, who was a pro wrestler back in the day, but they didn't remember him. Or at least they didn't claim to. Volund, All right, so this Smith is the quest. The I love how this is done. All right, lots of interesting information here. First of all, 50 wealth. We're pretty poor right now. Different gods. At Odin, some point, I want to do Odin, God of, God of victory. victory. But I cannot access that quest yet. You have to go up the quest tree to do... Uh, Frigga. To get to the point. Goddess uh, Frigga, of Stivaga. Saga. Yeah. Goddess saga. of history. Tyr, I like how they did Thor, this at the beginning. Saga, but yes, Odin, Odin's the top. Frigga, then you get the saga, two female gods. Goddess of highest. history. Of course, the goddess of history has to be up there. All right. So you've got sons and daughters. And that must seems like an interesting stat to worry about. But historically, you gave your sons and sometimes your daughters as uh, as hostages to ensure good behavior, and daughters went in marriage. Now, in this game, of course, we have the conceit that it's all consensual and they're getting married happily uh, and agreeable. But um, so, for instance, this Voland, quest, Voland, Weaponsmith, Weaponsmith of, the of the Gods, marriage, Voland asks for one of your daughters to marry, given the end of the turn if available. So, in this case. We'll assume that it's if she consents. And I mean, it's uh, one of the gods. He's going to be better than most of the idiots on the block. So yeah, sure. 
We ask our daughter. She says she'd be very interested in mar marrying Roland. So here we go. We are going to select that quest. Selected. And we are in Ostersund. So if you look at our corner map, yeah, it kind of reflects Europe. That could be England. That could be Scandinavia. That could be Europe. But in fact, one of the cool things about this game is that your map is is the sepia map that overlays the real map is not completely accurate. The farther you get from your home planet, the more incorrect it becomes. So let's get going. What we have here is a hero, a swordsman, and an archer. That's a pretty weak force, but it's the way to get started. Oh, we got a booty boat. Let's group them all together, but let's click on the city so you see what happens there. These are your people who are defending the city. You can't just pull them out. They're going to sit around there. They're not going to leave. I can't just click and drag them. They're not exactly the top-notch fighting force. Melee one, defense one. They got missile weapons. These guys got pitchforks. You'll see some of them when I go a raiding. But the hero's the tough one. You really want to get entire forces of heroes. And protecting your heroes is important. You're going to lose some heroes in this game, but you want to keep your best ones around. They don't get experience, but they do get magic items. They're already at their best until they get some magic items. This is money I'll be pulling in and ways I can trade with other players. And you'll see that because on the easy mode, I think everybody likes to trade. We'll probably have some trading going on pretty quickly. I love that. The, our, the Merchant Prince game preceded this all about trading. So we wanted a combat game. Not much combat in the Merchant Prince game, but we still want to include the trading. So you'll see that reflected. All right. A lot of different things up here. Obviously, all the important file things, options. Uh, we got animations on. Let's put the animations on blur. Let's go as fast as possible. Well, no, I'll show them to you normally first, and then we'll go to the blur. All right, tomes. We can see our cities. Well, there's only one city we know about, so that's the sh short tome now, more pamphlet. Our groups, again, we only have one group. Uh, all these pull downs. Magic. We have no magic yet. The gods have bestowed no magic powers upon you. And if, uh, that's actually what the Vikings have to do to win. They have to collect a certain number of magic items. So I got to load up on magic items. I've got no mail. I'm undertaking a Holland, quest. Weaponsmith of daughters the gods. available to complete my quest. So as long as I still have daughters at the end of the turn, I'll complete that quest. And the world map. But you see what I see of the world. Actions. I can build. Colonize. I can build a new city. Colonize an existing place. Do diplomacy with the others. All of them. Uh, it's simple little diplomacy tool. They're fun. Recruit. If there's anyone here, there's no recruits available or too little wealth. Use screen anyway? Okay. So I could recruit if they were available. Berserkers, Viking Swords, Viking Bowmen. Dwarves can recruit dwarves. The elves can do elfin bowmen. The trolls can, of course, recruit trolls. But these two are the default for everybody. Everybody gets them. All right, let's get a roll We've selected our boat. We're on our Viking longship. We've selected our crazy raiding party. Woo now, in um, in our later games, like Ember of the Fading Suns, we have both mouse movement, I can click and move, and we had keyboard movement. I can press the uh, uh, numbers and or arrows, and they'll go. This, whoops. We do have it. I'd forgotten we had it. Uh, we didn't have number movement for this. Or did we have number movement? No, we don't have number movement. Yes, we do have number movement. I thought we didn't have number movement for this. What's going on here? I'm now I'm not able to do number movement. I don't know what they're doing. Anyways, so I just messed up this turn by messing around with the numbers. But, yeah, we can. I could press like this, and they would go woo all over the place. Green means I get there. Red, the kings, I can't. But usually it's mouse movement for this game. So let's get going. Let's raid. And the turn. So weapon smith of the god gives me a plus one rune blade. That's my first magic item. Yay! Hermit, yay! Going to turn two. This is what I'm talking about, the diplomacy. They're offering me trade. Ulf the Fey offers limited trade. Gore Blood Axe offers limited trade. Eric Nornson, that's a dwarf, offers peace. And limited Roger trade. Tusk, so apparently the dwarves are going to be my buddy. Tail bearer. You got to fight some of these folks at some point if you're going to really expand it. Otherwise, they'll start picking on you in any case. All right. We're not explored 100 yet, so let's pick a different quest to go on. Grower, 
The oh, sorceress. The sorceress. I need 250 gold. The Alfie. The Alfie. Find her. I found these one city site Thor. next to River Square. All right, let's select that one. We'll explore pretty well. We need to go get this magic item up here, but let's explore and see if we find a city next to a river. There's a city next to a river. Let's go ahead and take it. Let's uh, subjugate it. So you're going to see the combat interface now. Recognize it? Some of you have played um, have played the Heroes of Might and Magic series. This game preceded Heroes of Might and Magic from New World. We worked very closely with New World on this game. No objection to them using a very similar combat system. I like what they did. I love the Heroes of Might and Magic games. But this is a very different line, but obviously they played a lot of Hammer of the Gods before the, while they were working on Heroes of Might and Magic. So. Glad that they enjoyed it as much as they did. All right, I got my archer. Yay! You see how slowly they're moving? I'm going to go ahead and increase the speed of animations. Wait, I can't do that in here. I got to get out of the screen. So this will go slowly for a little bit. All right. I think that these guys can just stay here. And uh, let me see something really quickly. I think if I just leave these here, the... The um, pitchfork wielding screaming villagers will come to them and I'll get first slack on them. All right, killed that one. Let's see if, yeah, okay, they're coming to me. That's what I want to see. All right, all right. Yeah, the other slingers are in range, so I got to be careful about the slingers. Let's see if I can kill a slinger. No, I got to pick these off first. Twang! Whoops, I aimed at the wrong one. Bonk. Oh, he blocked me and stabbed me. Then I killed him. Do not remain in the defender's position. We need them to come to me. Actually, I need to stay down there because he needs to go for that one. That was a mistake. Oh, well. Do not remain in that defender's position. I should have moved this one up. This is going to hurt. Woohoo! Very lucky. All right. Actually, move this guy up. Bonk. Uh, yeah, I remain in that finished position because I got to take that guy out as quickly as I can. Move this one up. Take a shot. Hope I kill him because otherwise I'm probably losing my swordsman. No, yay! I win this without losing all the hit points that were recovered at the end of this fight. But uh, this guy was about to die. So now I'm going to subjugate. I can raid, plunder, raise, or subjugate. In raiding, you get a little bit of money, you kill a few people, and the place can regrow. And you can raid it again. Plundering, you can take a lot of money, and it takes the place a long time to make up for it. Raise, you burn it to the ground, kill all the people, take all the money. Subjugate, I'll show you what happens. 216 gold found, 24 population killed, and one new recruits volunteered back home. And now I can have my people, I'll leave my swordsman there, turn Gaul into my city. Okay. So I don't want to end the turn yet. Show you that I now have a new city here that's going to make me money and slowly grow over time. But up here, I can now recruit people. I can recruit a swordsman and an archer. So let's get them. Now they're out of time subjugating. If you raid, you can continue moving. If your movement points up subjugating, you lose your all your remaining movement. All right. So, and turn! I got four units of Berserkers! Thank you, Theolfi, trusted servant of Thor! That was for, I discovered that uh, city by the river. So perfect. Part of the Grim. Hey, our new treaty. Hey, I got a treaty with Ulf the Fey. And partial trade. Gore offers me partial trade. Eric Nornson has offered me goodies. Ratatosk. All right. The squirrel tail. Now, grow is still the easy. Sorceress. 50 gold. I've got it. Nana. Nana. Establish a peace purity. treaty with one Viking or attempt peace with all Vikings once per turn. Modi. Modi. God Raid. Of attempt raiding one city of any size. All of these are pretty easy tasks. Um, I'm going to go with Nana, Nana for now. Goddess of Purity. Quickly. All right. So I'm going to go back to Ostersund. 
Don't let me forget that I've got to do that diplomacy. Look at this team now. Holy cow, have I got a force. Let's pick up the rune blade. He's now tougher. Uh, and I can get this huge force. So let's go ahead and uh, select everybody. And we'll go raiding. I should have taken the raiding one as my uh, plan for this one. Let's do that quick diplomacy, though, before I forget it. Partial trade neutral at peace. I already got the peace treaty with Nordson, so I've already completed it. So maybe we'll see if Ulf the Fey wants to be uh, have peace as well. So let's go to diplomacy. I like how this is set up. You can just change your treaties and like, and give gifts without asking for anything, or you can barter. So I offer you peace, war, gold map, magic, daughter. I'll like, offer an agreement to peace if. They agree to peace also. Probably not going to happen, but it's a fun ad. So we make that request. We are done. And now we'll continue on. And, ooh, that's a pretty well-defended little place. But we'll take it next turn. I'm not going to do it this turn. Because one of the um, quests is to raid a city. So there's a city to raid. And again, I probably have a city right over here to raid too, so. Hmm. Could raid there and raid here. One subjugate that and subjugate here. This is a. You see how this art on this city is? This is a much bigger city, worth more, but it's also got more defenses. You'll see three swordsmen, three pikes, a couple of um, slingers. So it's kind of better to just. Oh, it's a burg, a burg of Kemi. So it's a little better to raid this and let it be there for me to raid again in the future. Um. But I'm going to raid it next turn. Oh, I can raid down here, too. I'll raid back over here. There's something over here. Wait, is it here? It's very interesting. In Ever the Fading Suns, I can click and move on the map. This one, I've got to actually click on the corner map to move my view around. Or bump scroll. You see how I'm bumping in the corners and scrolling? Bump to the left, bump to the right, bump to the top, bump to the bottom. That is not an innuendo. That is actually called bump scrolling. Hmm. Should I raid Kemi now? I'll lose some folks. Sure, let's raid Kemi. What the heck? I feel like a raid. We're barbarians. We're Vikings. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't have enough movement anyway. Ha <laughs> ha. All that fretting for nothing. Ooh, rune armor and a Viking hero. I got a new hero. Very important. May our new treaty enrich both... Oh, Ulf the Fey agreed to the treaty. Yay, full trade. All right. We're going to get rich. Rata Tusk. That full trade. No reason to go to war folks. Yeah, that should probably peace with the, that big old troll, too. All right. So Modi, Modi was the raid. Of Rua, Bro is 250. I got plenty of cash Yarn now. Soxa. 750. Don't have Iron that one yet. Don't even know. 750. Magni. Magni. God raid, of strength. Ula. I'll take a while. God of archery <laughs> Go to Horheim, death. located west of your home city, and defeat the skeletons there. I don't know where Horheim is yet. All right, we're going to do Modi. Modi, Modi God, God of Courage. Of courage. Ready to see? Oh, success isn't required. That's uh, good for me. All right, so we may not succeed against Kemi, so let's see what happens when we read Kemi. I do have a good force here. I should succeed without much issue, so let's do it. They have sallied forth, sallied fifth, and sallied sixth. That's interesting that the... There. Oh, I forgot to speed up the animations. Remind me of that, everybody, okay? Remind me on the next one to... Uh, to speed up the animations. All right, I'm just going to sit here and let them come to me while my archers peg them off. But twang! Twang! Oh, wow, that's uh, pretty good. Everyone else will just go ahead and wait a bit. Now, we've got auto combat, and I'll do that in future combats. But I want to show you how uh, the fights are handled. Yeah, if you played Harry's Might Magic, you recognize the sort of move back kind of strategy of suckering people in to fight you here, there, and everywhere. All right. But twang! But twang! Miss miss. I hit hit on the first turn. Miss missed on this turn. Right, skip all my zerks, my bazoikis. 
All right, now we're going to have some fun. We will uh, start with the archers again. Put the twang. Missed again. Hit this time. All right, hero, do your job. Take this guy out. Bunk. 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 There we go. Do not stay in that position. Back up. All right, you go a little south. Take care of this one. Bunk. Got to love those spinning attacks. Yeah. Now you see that one is at two hit points now. My hero is down to four from six, I think. All right, this guy can't reach anyone, so he'll just stay there. This barbarian. Oh, I should have done this barbarian. Hold on. Uh oh, this guy's getting pounded on. Finish him up. Finish him up, Zerker. Not ready to main that position. All right. Now it'll be nice and quick. We'll take care of these. Uh, Pitchforkers and be on our way. Put twang, twang, and this is where you want to make sure you use folks who have the most hit points. Three, four, four. Let's use this one. Quick and easy. I'm gonna do it auto from here on. Yeah, they went blurry there. I'm gonna do that. All right, so what I was gonna do, I was gonna raid here, complete the quest, and keep this place good to raid again in the future. 167 gold found and three population killed. So you notice that now it's smaller. It's like this one now. I reduced it, but I haven't destroyed it, so I can come back and raid it again later. All right, but let's keep moving around. Coming down over here, let's see what I got here. Yeah, there's Steve, another small one. That's gonna be a quick and easy raid. This, oh, first of all, let's put animations. Animation on blur. I'll reduce that when we have some cool creatures to fight. But right now we got oh, we're gonna be doing the normal ones for a little bit. Alright, so we're gonna go into Olu. The Viking city of Olu. I apologize to all of our Scandinavian friends for how how badly I do no, that's not even close to the correct accent. I used to be able to do a really bad Scandinavian accent. I can't remember how to do it, eh? Oh well. All right, I'm going to do this on auto. Quang, quang, twang, quang, 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 quang. Quick and easy. And now I'm going to plunder. Oh, I'm sorry, not plunder. I'm going to subjugate again. If you if you colonize, make new colonies early, they grow and you really make money from them. If you do it late in game, not nearly as effective, but useful to do. So again, I'm not going to really defend it. I won't give him my bowman, but I will give him my swordsman. So. All right. Now I've got another hero. Let's see if he can recruit. Not a big force being recruited here. Let's do buy that um, ship for them, though. Wait a minute. He had armor? Yes, he's wearing armor. That um, asterisk means he's got a uh, magic item. So let's group this all together. Already saw Gaul. Let's see what's down here. Whoops, I just recruited. When you recruit, they can't move in that turn. That's why it's good to recruit them the turn before. So what I'm actually going to do is leave my boat behind, let my hero walk about. So 60 movement, 13 movement, 10 movement, 7, and go back. And now I'll group it all, and next turn he'll go moving. So a little bit of exploring. All right. So now we've got two hero groups, and... It's not a bad idea to combine the heroes. Groups don't have to have a hero to adventure, so I can just send those berserkers off on their own. But, uh, kind of like... Whoa! <laughs> Dragon Slayer Sword, a Viking hero, and two units of berserkers. I'm glad that group's still in the um, island. Now, this is a good group. So, thank you, Modi. Let's see what I'm going to do next for my quest. Ratatosk, the right. square Kuldur. builder, monastery. Seek out and defeat one monastery and raid their stores. Well, we haven't found a monastery yet, so we'll do that one later. I think now it's time for Groa's. Yeah, let's Groa. do Groa's. That's a 250 gold. We'll have that money at the end of the turn, so let's select it. All right. Good force. Let's move on around here. Yeah, there's another nice place to... Oh, I'm going to have to give him one of my archers when I colonize this one. So let's go colonize Vassar. Sorry, Vassar. Yeah, you're right. It is Vassar, not Vassar. 
It'd be funny to be Vikings at Vassar. I think the Viking Vassars would be a great, great volleyball team for Vassar. All right, here we go. Raid time again. Do this one on auto. This is an easy fight. Twang, twang. Let's subjugate this one as well. Give him one of my archers. Again, if I left a whole bunch of folks, then the city would be growing faster. But All right. This is a good little force. I'm not going to buy them anything because I want them to start moving. But, um... Yeah, pretty cool. This group can do a lot of good stuff. I'm kind of tempted to go over this way. This means... Oh! <laughs> this When you see these things on the map, usually means there's a dungeon, a special adventure place. This is a monastery. That's a castle. You'll, castles are a pain to fight, but you have to. Um, looking for other examples of a dungeon. But I think that's probably Horheim right there. Maybe I shouldn't have bought these guys a boat. Maybe I should just hike them over there. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I think I want to keep going by boat. Let's go down here. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to go exploring around for Horheim just yet. It would have been a good idea to have done that. So you notice that I'm still hugging the coast. When I go here, you're going to see it. I'm at risk of a storm, which is a mistake for me to do, but I want to show it to you. So if I go there, there's a chance of a storm. Then I can just go back here. Whoa, that's a big town. That's a bigger fight than I want for this group right now. I would lose some troops. So we're going to leave Uppsala alone for now. Let's see what we got here. Now back to Aland. That's an easy one to take. So let's go grab that, shall we? Do it on auto. Twang, twang, twang. Tonk, tonk, tonk. Tonk, tonk, tonk. And we will subjugate it as well. And uh, leave a swordsman to make it my city. Now, all these cities actually put me at risk when I go to war with the other folks. But it, they do help make me a bit richer. All right, I got another Viking hero and a plus one moon defender sword. Is that a... Increase my attack or defense? Let's find out. Probably defense. Good old Groa. I just gave her 250. She gave me magic. Rata Tusk, the square I'm not ready for Rata Tusk. Bearer. Exploring 100 spaces of new terrain. What's weird? weird? He got to defeat fate. one monastery. So Odua, both of these are monastery God ones. Of, Go to God Horheim. Of I should have been Horheim. Maybe I'll do that with my new hero. Magni, God uh, of raid strength. four cities of Yon village Saksa. size. Donate Iron 750 Stone gold. Giantess. Hmm. Oh, God of Archery. Oh, no, wait. That's the Ironstone Giantess. Hmm. Good question. Any of these are going to take Uller, me a few turns now. God of Magni, God of Strength. Not a bad idea to do Magni's now. Yeah, let's select Magni while I go looking for... I'll try and make money for Ionexla and find monasteries for those two. All right, more raiding. Let's see what we got down here. Yeah, there's a big one. I'd rather not attack that. Oh, I can do it. Oh, yeah, this will be cool. Because I've got this force. It's time to combine my forces. And have one. Oh, that's a big city over there. So, yeah, I'm going to bring this group on over. Let's see. What do I have here? I could put my two heroes into that group and have a really good force. Sure, let's try that. Let's try that. Yeah, this, this is what I was talking about. This guy has a superhero group now. This is my lead group going about its thing. So, this will be a good raiding party. So let's go raid. And again, I'll raid this one so I can come raid it later on as well. I'm going to have fun with these heroes. I'll show you some of the things I do. We line them up like this, but that lets you strategize more. Let's get out the sword. Whoop, oh, missed him. So. So you see, their toughest folks are in the middle. So I'll have two heroes there, but I want a hero down at the bottom too. I'll move that Viking up, and this guy will come into here. 
Should have had another archer in this group. That made this go much faster. Yay! When archers hit like that, it's a good thing. All right, that slinger is going to do me some damage, but good group. Slinger missed. I was more afraid of him than I should have been. All right, let's send this one out to flat. Nope, back, back up. They drop to flat, flat, flat. Nope, go back in line. Send you to swackety flack. Nope, get back. See if now I can shoot you. Nope, I cannot. I have to shoot one of these two. That's annoying. I guess I should have moved up after all. Move up anyway. See, the slingers have to engage in melee when uh, they get too close. I'll just auto this. Why am I bothering? There we go. So, we got a raid for cities, so that's one of them. So now you'll see we've still got this group. Group it. Don't we have a hero up here? Yes. I should send this group back up to... Um, Join up with this one. You see how it tries to hug the coastline. But since I don't really care about this group, I could go straight up the middle and risk the storm. So I'm hoping to get a storm and show you what happened. So let's get a storm. Whoop. Let's see. Yay. See, I'm also exploring more for Rotatus, the squirrel god. Good old Rotatus. Let me think of one more. Well, no storms, but of course I'm not out here in the channel or anything. All right, so I got a hero here. Let's uh, do my recruiting. I can get two swordsmen and an archer, and next turn then go walkie. So let's do that. All right. So I've got another second party. I got the superhero party and the less superhero party now. Let's see, what do I want to do with a superhero party? What happens if I go here? I'm here. I can't go there. Oh, well. Oh, I got to raid it again. Uh, sorry, everybody. Beating up on poor, poor. Well, I got to do my raid sometime. This is a fun game, I do have to admit. All right, let's see what we got down here. Yeah. Superhero party. I think I'm missing something here that I couldn't get to. I guess I got to walk to it if I'm going to get to it. Well, let's keep going and see what else is over here. Oh, I got a monastery over here somewhere. Let's see if we get that monastery for a raid. Oh, castle. So look, knights and archers, this is a pain to take. And these folks can sally forth and attack my group. Right. Can I raid Uppsala again? Maybe I'll do Uppsala again. So I will lose some folks, probably. I do need to get my raiding in, so let's get that raiding in. Oh, Kemi grew, grew too. Look at that. And Kemi doesn't even have any um, archers. So that's uh, an easy one. And then I can go down to Uppsala. All right. So let's do raid Kemi again. We'll auto this one. It should be a quick and easy fight even on... Ah! Not good when my folks keep missing. I lost a Viking. I mean, a Berserker. I should have done that more carefully. I should have controlled that one. I, I would not have lost that one if I had been doing the fight myself. All right. Let's go raid Uppsala. On to Uppsala. All right. I'm not going to raid the monastery yet. See, it's one off from where the map said it was. That's the. Ooh, someone's building roads. I have not built any roads. I forgot all about roads in this game. 
Yeah, you can build roads, and that, not the um, knights doing that. That's uh, all for the, that's the elves, the trolls, or the dwarves done that. So somebody's over here already. Oh, good to know. Wow, look at this. That's a town. With all these knights here. Hmm. I'm in the middle of a whole lot of toughness now. I'm in. I'm dealing with Europe now, and not the small little Viking towns. But I do know now how to get to the. Uh... Wow! Yeah, there's supposed to be a town there, but instead I got Riga there. These are big things. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, let's go back up because I know I'm going to get that uh, that uh, monastery soon. All right, let's raid Uppsala again. Oh, they're behind walls. This is something you haven't seen. When they've got decent archery, they'll hang out behind their walls. So uh, let's head on down. This is a bad one for me. I might lose some good units this time. I got advance. Guess uh, walls are hard to hit people over. Twang. Yeah, and it's harder to hit them as well. This is going to be problematical. Yeah, I got to send in my Berserker first and lose him, hurt them a little bit. Because there's only one way in right now, and the, all three of these can come and attack. So I'm losing this Viking this game, this this fight. Not my best movement. Not my best move. Ah, lost my Viking already. If I can kill his archer, they'll drop the... Um, the walls. Uh, this is not a good fight. I might be running away. Well, let's see. Yeah, you do have the option to, to run. All right, let's see if they come to me. Back my force up and let them come to me for a bit. Got to weaken these guys quite a bit. But twang, that's good to see. But twang, that's not good to see. Really sorry I don't have that berserker anymore. All right, archers, I'm really relying on you guys. Uh, well, that helps. Nope, I need you up north here, buddy. All right, that helped. All right, that makes me feel a lot better, that round of combat. And that as well. No reason to risk anything. There we go. Raid, raid, raid. This is new gold. Thank you, Uppsala. That was almost an oops and oopsala. See what we got down here. Hey, what's over here? Big town. And I can do that right now with this weakened stack. Need to rebuild this stack. Ooh, seven units of Berserker. Showing yourself to be a true Viking warrior. Thank you, Magni. The squirrel tail bear. All right, so yeah, time Goddess to start doing fate. some of these raids. Weird. Let's start Goddess with um, the God weird. weird goddess, goddess of, fate. of fate. Conquest. Seek out and defeat one monastery and raid a store. So let's do that first. What's Bragi? God of five poetry. Of berg size. Uller. Yeah, we got a God of weird. weird. God let's get of weird. Fate. And of course, in our Fading Suns game, weird is one of the major uh, player resources. All right. 
Let's go raid a monastery. Yay, monastery raiding time. Woo. Defenders sally forth. All right, let's definitely auto this one. This is my superhero stack. We'll finish this in no time. What about a what about a what about what about what about? All right, got my 200 gold. I wonder what's around here. Let's see what's here. Gotta go get back in my boat. Oh, I'm out of movement. All right, let's see. Hey, hey, there's a place to raid. That might be a good one to subjugate. And then send these guys back to get those seven berserkers. Yeah, let's subjugate it, give it my swordsman. Of course, at some point, I'm going to start losing these bergs when uh, I get in war with the other PCs. But that's a ways off still. Oh, look at all those berserkers. I'm going to start looking to see what's over here. I really think that's Warheim. Let's find out. Do some recruiting. It's been a while since he's recruited. Bing, bing. Bing, bing. Okay. Location of Horheim. Now I know where Horheim is. Two more units of Berserkers. Not bad. Best writing with the map info. So up there is Horheim. Rotatusk. The squirrel right. tail. Well, not in Horheim yet. So what's another good one? What's Sindri's quest? Sindri, Kept raiding a city of any size. Success is not necessary. I think that's a great one to do. Let's take a look. I could have raided this monastery again. I want to go see what's around here. Look at that road. Somebody's around here. Novgorod. We're in Russia now. I'm wasting my superhero stack by not pounding on folks. I need to be doing some serious raiding with my superheroes. All right, I'm going to send you up to go pick up folks. I got a raid. I'm missing a raid this turn. Arg. That's not smart. As soon as they grab some reinforcements, it's time to raid. Yep, there's Hor. Oh. Rock home and Tron time. Red. Isn't red the... Which one's red? Uh, red is the... Red is the dwarves. Oh, man. Let's see who's the strongest. Red is the weakest. Blue, that's me. He's got the most gold. Most units is yellow. Most cities is blue. Well, I'm at peace with them. That's annoying. I'm going to go to war with them. But um, I should start demanding things from him. Make him break it. I want to come over here to Horheim. That's where the uh, skeletons are. I can do that this turn because he built a road from Rockholm to... What's that city doing? Only one little guy there. I should be raising that city and... All right, let's get a fighting force over at Tron time and then go to war against um, the dwarves. Let's go do my whore. Oh, look, there's... Oh, I don't have the Horheim quest in action right now. Doi. I need to select that. I need to do my raid. That was stupid. All right, let's get on here. These... These guys ready to raid next turn. Oh, is that too big? Yeah, I got to drop one of these. Drop one of the archers. Get on that boat. And now they're ready to go raid Uppsala again. Poor Uppsala. Raid it again. seeing down here 
green. That's the elves. So now, yes, yeah, these elves building the roads out here. But we're not going to take go to war with two at once. I think I'm going to try. Oh, well, yellow is the um, trolls. There's the trolls. They're fun. Or blood axe. All right, we're not going to go to war with any of them. Time to haul out of here. Maybe um, we can get the elves and the trolls fighting each other. Try a little diplomacy here. Diplomacy. Yeah, let's see if we can get them at war. Let's give uh, Ulf the Fey something. Go to war. Let's see. I offer you. Wish I had more map info. Give him some gold. I got plenty of gold now. All right, offer gold. Offer how much? Two fifty, maybe. I'll offer two fifty. If they go to war with Gore Blood Axe. All right, let's see if that happens. Using diplomacy to your advantage. Yeah, Gore Blood Axe ain't got no honor. Not that what I'm doing is particularly honorable. Yeah, go beat them up for me, would you? All right, another raid. Do this on auto, complete this quest. That's a good fighting force. Raid this one again. It's a good force to get moving around. Go back down here where you were exploring. guys out of Horheim until uh until I've got you got that quest leave them here yeah you see how they're moving on I guess this, this massive barbarian force is fun oh man you could be over there with them no I'm gonna leave you here because I think I might be getting another hero let's recruit bing bing let's just leave you here Oop. And done. Let's see if we get a new hero. Yes, a dwarf, a dwarf hero. He was dwarf in the Dragon Slayer Sword. Important to know when I fight the dragon. Alpha Fey accepted the barter. And go pound on the trolls for a while. Rata Tusk, the right, squirrel tail bearer. Um, Uller, Orheim god of archery and death. Oh, it's I do. Aiden, goddess, goddess of, of immortal, immortal youth. youth. Donate the sum of 750 gold. That's the easy one. All right, let's Uller, God Uller. of archery and death. Uller's theorem. All right, select that one for this turn. All right, let's see here. So, actions, diplomacy. So, you see, those two are war each other. I'm not. I'm just going to let them do it. Let them beat on each other for a bit. And I'll go take out old um, dwarf guy. No, Eric Nornson. Bring this force over to help me deal with Eric Norn's son. Let's get out of here and do my uh, Norn sunning. Of course, next turn I'll probably raid another monastery. So yay! Ah, look at all these castles, Saxon castles. Next to Zealand, not New Zealand. That's Old Zealand over there. Why they change it, I don't know. They like Zealand better that way. All right, go do my skeleton quest, would you? All right. Shouldn't have a problem with this one. No, those skeletons are a pain. Ah, I handled this very badly. I lost a lot of troops. I should have sent heroes. Mistake. Little LDs over there. Hmm. Well, I want to get Rock Home, destroy Rock Home, and then get Tron time. So let's move these folks over here and wait on that hero to come up. Wait. Group all of these. I'm sending dwarves to kill dwarves. I love it. That's pretty uh, obnoxious. All right. In order to avoid losing honor when you do the diplomacy, 
you want to have set yourself up for war rather than just go from full peace to war. So, hey, Eric Nornson, I can give you an idle threat. Threaten to reduce trade, break trade, break peace treaty, etc. Or you can make an ultimatum. Give me gold. Oh, give me magic. Give me magic. Or I will break the peace treaty. Maybe reduce trade. Let's try that first. See what happens. Try and uh, extort goal of magic items because I need magic items in order to win the game. Oh wow, we're already an hour into this. Hey, that's exciting because I mentioned something before that I had an announcement, and that is that this game, which has not been in distribution. Since 1995 is going to distribution in five minutes on GOG. GOG.com slash hammer underscore of underscore the underscore gods. 10% off this launch week. This has not been available legally for a long time, and now you can do it. Yeah, sorry that uh, we couldn't work out an agreement with NTN Communications for them to do it. When they took over New World, they had very little interest in a lot of the stuff that had happened there in the past. Sorry that they never took on this game. They lost the distribution rights. All right, here we go. Made in our ultimatum. Fun, fun, fun. And uh, they're waiting. I'll just leave them there for now. And good stuff. Good stuff. We'll do one more. Oh, wow, yeah. Plus four room weapon. Thank you, Uller. A Viking hero and two units of... Berserkers, that's a heck of a weapon. Defied my ultimatum. Offers me full trade again. Reject. We're going to war with you, Eric. Rata Tusk, the squirrel tail bearer. You go do another of the uh, monastery of quests. We got Soxa. the money to give an Iron Stone for Setter. Or the Seti. Lawgiver. I can start a new colony pretty Bragi, easily. God that's a of tougher poetry. one. Um, let's Yarn get the Iron Iron Ironstone Giantess. Quest done. That, the higher these up, obviously, the better the toys you get as a result. All right. Maybe I will say this. I'm wasting my superhero stack, not taking it right into action. sail down here and explore with them and they can at least beat up the Saxons go around all right we'll keep on exploring I got more heroes coming around the top there's this good hero group Ostfeld Trying to get them around up to here where Eric Nornson is. So I got a second force up there. Come back and raid these folks later. Let's see. I've got that hero and I've got this hero. So two good hero forces going now. I guess I should start sending the dwarves that way. Let's see. I'm going to need both of these groups. And this group can go connect with them. Yeah, one of the issues with dwarves, they move a little slowly. But they're pretty tough, too. We'll leave. Uh, I'll let you go join up with them. Now, let's do some more recruiting. Not much to recruit. And let's end the turn. Well. We got with diplomacy. Did I make any more threats? Make another threat. All right. Ultimatum. Give me gold 250. Same thing as before. Okay. Or I will break peace treaty. See, I do it a little step at a time so you don't lose too much honor. Last turn. 
plus two rune sword if I can hear two more units. Thank you, Stone Giantess. Select my quest and I'll end the game for the night. Hope you all enjoyed that. This classic Forex game. Not trading with like us burning milk, burning money. Eric Nordson defied your ultimate. Tusk, the squirrel tail bearer. Heimdall, guardian of two Bifrost, cities of at least village. Bragi, god of poetry. Borsetta, the Lydon, goddess of gold. immortal youth. Let's do the 750 gold. Forsetta, Idon, goddess of immortal youth. We got lots youth. of money right now. All right, I'm going to save this and jump on out of it. Called first game in a long time. And uh, I will do this again another night. But I do want to show you the GOG site where you can get this game now. Let's uh, exit out of here. Fun, fun stuff. This is, of course, the GOG Galaxy that is one of the ways you can play GOG games. All right, so let's exit GOG Galaxy. And now, Hammer the Gods. GOG.com slash game slash Hammer the Gods. Whoops. Do this correctly. GOG.com slash game. Hammer underscore of underscore the underscore gods. All right, that's in chat. Check it out. 10% off. Description of it. Finally, back in distribution. First time since 95. This NNT lost the rights to this game. Actually, never got it from New World. All right, everybody, I do hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed playing it again. That's a fun game. Uh, and uh, we'll be streaming again soon. I'll let you know when I'm streaming in for the Fading Suns and Hammer of the Gods again. Those are both fun. All right. Cheers. Go get your hammer on Gog.